got it. This time I got it. All right. It's hips. See, it's all in the hips. Uh -huh. Come through with the hips first. <laughs> that is out there. Got it. Joe's? No, supermarket. Well, is it good? It's, uh, it's okay. Well, let me taste that. Oh, see, that stinks. <laughs> you can't eat that. You should take that back. I'm not taking it back. All right, I'll take it back. I'm going by there. I don't care Jerry, about it. Jerry, you should care. Cantaloupe like this should be taken out of circulation. All right. <laughs> take it back. No. Leave a message. I'll call you back. Jerry, have you ever taken a bath in the dark? If I'm not talking into the soap right now, call me back. Uh, who's that? Marlene. Mar oh. Oh. Marlene. Yeah. I, I took her home one night. We kind of started up a little bit in the car. Well, I thought you were trying to get rid of her. I was, but she's got me, like, hypnotized or something. Does George know? No, he'd go nuts. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> I mean, I've seen her a couple of times since then, and I know I can't go any further, but I, I just got, like, this psychosexual hold over me. I just want her. I, I can't breathe. It's like a drug. <sighs> psychosexual. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to tell him. <sighs> Man, I don't understand people. I mean, why would George want to deprive you of pleasure? Is it just me? It's partially you, yeah. I mean, you're his friend. I mean, better that she should sleep with someone else? Some jerk that he doesn't even know? Well, he can't kill me, right? You're a human being. I mean, if she called me. I never called her. She started it. You're flesh and blood. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I don't care. Are you kidding? No, I don't care. You mean that? Absolutely. You don't care? No. How could you not care? I don't know. But I don't. <laughs> I'm actually almost happy to hear it. I thought you'd be upset. Well, I guess I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> Am I a bad person? Did I do something terrible? You're a fine person. You're a humanitarian. <laughs> She's very sexy. But that voice, that voice. She's driving me crazy. I know, I know. So I could see you tonight, and you don't care. See you tonight, see you tomorrow. Go, knock yourself out. You're too crazy for me. All right, as long as you're OK. Because I can't stop thinking about it. I'm OK. I'm fine. I'm wonderful. I never felt better in my whole life. Good. And I'll tell you what. You don't have to pay me back the 35 I gave to the chiropractor for the rest of your bill. You paid that crook? I had to. He didn't do anything, Jerry. It's a scam. Who told you to do that? It was embarrassing to me. Oh, I was trying to make a point. Why don't you make a point with your own doctor? You know... <coughs> What's wrong? I think I swallowed a fly. No. <laughs> I swallowed a fly. What do I do? What can happen? So, you want to come up for a few minutes? I'm sorry, Jerry. I just don't think this is going to work. Really? I thought... I know. I'm sorry. Gee, I just didn't expect it from the way you've been acting. Hey, are you sure you want to talk about this? Because I sure don't. Of course I want to talk about it. Well, okay. I guess things changed for me on Tuesday night. Tuesday night? What happened Tuesday night? I saw your act. <laughs> My act? Well, what, what does that have to do with anything? Well, to be honest, it just didn't make it for me. It's just so much fluff. <laughs> I can't believe this. So, so what are you saying? You didn't like my act? So that's it? I can't be with someone if I don't respect what they do. You're a cashier! <laughs> Look, Jerry, it just it wasn't my kind of humor. You, you can't go by the audience that night. It was late. They were terrible. I heard the material. I, I have other stuff. You should come see me on the weekend. Seriously, do you want to switch chairs? No, no. I'm fine. 
Oh, Jerry, are you listening to this? Yeah, Uncle Leo. So? So now the Parks Commissioner is recommending Jeffrey for a citation. Right, for the uh, reducing of the pond scum? Oh, for the walking tours. Oh, yeah, the, uh, where the people eat the plant life, the edible foliage tour. That's exactly right. He knows the whole history of the park. For two hours, he's talking and answering questions. But you want to know something? Whenever he has a problem with one of these high-powered big shots from the Parks Department, you know who he calls? Mickey Mantle? Jerry, Jerry, did you taste these peas? These, these peas are great. These peas are bursting with country fresh flavor. Mm, phenomenal peas. Mm. Are you ready for dessert? Well, actually, we do have to kind of get going. You're going? Oh, uh, I don't really eat dessert. I'm dieting. Yeah, I can't eat dessert either. The sugar makes my ankles swell up, and I can't dance. Can't dance? He's kidding, Manya. Is that a joke? <laughs> so, did you hear Claire's getting married? Yeah, yeah. I hear the fella owns a couple racehorses, you know, trotters, like at Yonkers. Horses? They're like big riding dogs. What about ponies, huh? What kind of abnormal animal is that? And those kids who had their own ponies. Oh, I know. I hated those kids. In fact, I hate anyone that ever had a pony when they were growing up. I had a pony. <laughs> well, I didn't uh, really mean a pony per se. When I was a little girl in Poland, we all had ponies. My sister had pony. My cousin had pony. So what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing at all. I was just merely uh, expressing. Should we have some coffee? Who's having coffee? He was a beautiful pony, and I loved him. Well, I'm sure you did. Who wouldn't love a pony? Who wouldn't love a person that had a pony? You. You said so. No, see, we didn't have ponies. I'm sure at that time in Poland, they were very common. They were probably like compact cars. That's it. I had enough. Have your coffee, everybody. She's a little upset. It's been an emotional day. I didn't know she had a pony. How was I to know she had a pony? Who figures an immigrant's gonna have a pony? <laughs> Do you know what the odds are on that? I mean, in all the pictures I saw of immigrants on boats coming into New York Harbor, I never saw one of them sitting on a pony. <laughs> well, why would anyone come here if they had a pony? Who leaves a country packed with ponies to come to a non-pony country? It doesn't make sense. Am I wrong? <laughs> Who gets picked off in softball? It's unheard of. Never happened to me before. I remember saying to myself, why is Jerry so far off the base? I have to live with this shame for the rest of my life. Then in the fifth inning, why did you take off on the pop fly? I thought there were two outs. <laughs> when I saw you running. I thought maybe they had changed the rules or something. It was the single worst moment of my life. What about Sharon Besson? Oh, well, of course, 1973. Makes you wonder, though, doesn't it? Wonder about what? You know, the spirit world. What, you think Manya showed up during the game and put a hex on me? <laughs> I never saw anyone play like that. But I went to the funeral. Yeah, but that doesn't make up for killing her. Maybe Manya missed the funeral because she was off visiting another galaxy that day. Don't you think she would have heard I was there? Not necessarily. Who figures an immigrant's gonna have a pony? 